In this quick lesson, I'll show you how to find the general solution to a non-homogeneous system. The question reads, find the general solution of the non-homogeneous system of linear equations below. The reason why this is a non-homogeneous system is because we have the equations equaling to something other than just zeros. So we have here the solutions in this column vector. And also keep in mind that when you have fewer equations, let's pretend that each of these rows represents an equation, then you do unknowns. Notice that we have four equations and five unknowns. That means you cannot solve the set in a unique way. And by that I mean you won't strictly get one solution for this system. The first thing that you have to do when you come up with a general solution is you want to put it in row echelon form. And that's when you have the leading ones in the main diagonal. So I'm going to assume that you already know how to put a matrix in row echelon form because it does take a while sometimes. It could take up to five or 10 minutes depending on how fast you are with it. If you do it properly, you should end up with an augmented matrix that's in row echelon form looking like this. So on your screen, I've shown the matrix in row echelon form. And there are a few things that I want you to notice moving forward. We have a row that has all zeros and that's shown underneath. And this column represents this column vector. So once you have it this way, you can also highlight the leading ones. We have one right here, here, and here. And now I'll convert each row back into an equation. Take for example, row one. This column represents x sub one all the way through x sub five. So we have x sub one minus x sub three, that represents this negative one, minus x sub five is equal to one. Again, over here we have x sub two plus x sub three, that's also equal to one. And over here, x sub four plus two times x sub five is equal to one. Wherever you do have a leading one, you want to solve the equation for that variable. So in this equation, we had a leading one on x sub one. So I'll solve it where I have x sub one is equal to everything on the other side. And with that said, I'll move this over and that over. For this equation, I will move x sub three over. And for this equation, I'll move that over. If you do that correctly, this one should look like this. x sub one is equal to one plus x sub three plus x sub five. Notice that they went from being negative to positive and that's expected. We also have this constant. For this equation, x sub two is equal to one minus x sub three. And for this last one, x sub four is equal to one minus two times x sub five. Now the ones that we don't have an equation for, which are x sub three and x sub five, those ones can be assigned any letter. So we'll write down x sub three is equal to an arbitrary letter, let's use S, and x sub five can be assigned the letter T. Now to write the general solution of this, you start off by saying that the column vector representing the variables is equal to, and just to be clear here, this x bar symbol represents this column vector. That is equal to the constants in the order in which they are in. So this constant is in the first row, so it's the first element. This one is in the second row. Then we'll have a zero because we don't have one for x sub three but we do have one for x sub four, that's in the fourth row, and x sub five doesn't have one, so we'll write down zero. So we have this constant plus, now since we assigned s as x sub three, I'll write down s, and I'll look at each of these equations and write down the coefficient of s. So in this equation, in the first row, x sub three represents s and it has a coefficient of one. So I'll write down one. Here, that's s, it has a coefficient of negative one and it's for x sub two. For x sub three, s was one. For x sub four, we didn't have an s. So we'll put a zero. I'll just extend this line. And lastly, for x sub five, we also didn't have an s, so we'll put a zero. And finally, We'll do one for t. Starting over here, remember that t represents 
x sub 5. So over here, we'll write down 1. There's no x sub 5 here, so it's a 0. No x sub 5 in this equation. There is an x sub 5 here, it's minus 2. And there's 1 over here, it's a 1. And there you have it. What's written right here represents the general solution of this non-homogeneous system.